What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the Dual Avionics X-HUD 1000 heads-up display. This was sent to me by Dual Avionics to kind of help run through uh, some testing in different airplanes using different ADS-B receivers to see how they work in different uh, areas. I'm really excited to test out this HUD. If you're new to this channel, I'm a previous F-16 fighter pilot in the United States Air Force and currently fly the T-38C, teaching introductory to fighter fundamentals. So I fly HUD airplanes all the time. I've been looking for a way to incorporate a HUD into my airplanes. Some people can say that this could cause unnecessary distraction having to stare at the HUD, but what it actually helps with is keeping your eyes looking outside, okay? Instead of bringing your eyes inside to look at that six pack of avionics or that glass panel down there, you can get all the information you need right out in front of your eyes so that you can continue your scan looking outside for traffic, terrain, whatever the next threat could be. So I'm really excited to open this up and check it out. So let's dig in, see kind of what uh, this is gonna show up with. So this looks to be uh, like it's their, uh, what they're going to send to market, okay? Um, I have opened this just to kind of see what items were in here uh, already, so it's not a true unboxing. But it, on the inside, it's actually pretty bare bones, I would say. It does give you all the equipment that you'd need to get it installed, but there's no manual. So down here in uh, the corner, it says download the product manual at gps.dual. Uh, av.com uh, so just one less thing to package there uh, so I do think that this is a consumer packaging not a uh, beta testing or anything like that type packaging so pulling the first uh, container out open it up you've got uh, inside here is the uh, HUD system itself uh, it comes folded down with a uh, protective uh, little piece of foam there and then there's a, a piece of uh, hydrostat or uh, electrostatic film protecting the combiner glass. Uh, I would personally get uh, some sort of cloth covering um, mi like microfiber or some sort of uh, like that would be best. Um, I have another system that I'm testing out that had a little uh, kind of more permanent microfiber cloth uh, that goes over the top of it. Uh, the other option, um, think of like uh, one of those purple bags that a uh, particular band, brand of booze comes in. Um, might fit over this okay, I don't know, but those do seem to be fairly soft. You just don't want to get any scratches uh, on this combiner glass. I don't know what the replaceability of this combiner glass is. Uh, so just something you want to protect. Going further into the container, we've got a uh, USB cable as well as, as a cigarette, uh, kind of the whole volt power adapter. Um, so this one uh, is 5 volts. Um, so Really, any USB car charger will probably work uh, just fine there. And that is it for this container. There is an additional container underneath. This includes uh, a couple non-permanent mounting solutions. Uh, so your kind of uh, rubber mat to, uh, that's got the little bit of tackiness on the underside. I would, wouldn't necessarily call it an adhesive uh, or maybe a non-permanent adhesive, but it's just a little tacky on the other underside. So if this was not something that you wanted to permanently mount into an airplane, uh, you could use uh, this system here, as well as a few other foam inserts uh, with some, uh, one backed with 3M tape uh, so I'm sure the manual would talk a lot more about uh, mounting. So we'll talk more about mounting later on in this video. I don't exactly know what each one of these foam mounts are for just yet. So I've got the HUD unboxed uh, and I'm going to run through just to make sure the firmware uh, is up to date. 
So I went to the web page listed on the container, uh, and so when it says updating the firmware, only the HUD and Apple device should be powered on, so I'm not going to be connecting to the GPS device at all. So power up the X-HUD. I did notice that uh, the GPS and the HUD, uh, one is a mini USB and one is a micro USB. Um, so if that bothers you, two separate types of cables. It is powering on. The logo will appear on the HUD and then disappear. Okay. Uh, open the ADSB status tool app, select HUD control tab, and tap X HUD to connect. Tap HUD software version, download install. So I'm going to go to my dual ADSB app, select HUD control not to be used as a primary flight instrument, understand that. HUD connected, it's pairing. Now we need to find software version. HUD is running up-to-date firmware. So we're good to go there. So now we can go into here and uh, getting connected to the uh, XGPS 190 power, power this on. All right, so uh, I had to unpair it and repair it, and now it's uh, connected. Uh, I don't know if that's, I'm sure it has something to do with my phone, uh, possibly, and the first time running this, but it is running. I have a uh, nicely lit screen. I'm not sure if you can really see it in the video there, um, but looking at it, uh, it's not focused to infinity, but it's much better than some of the other ones I've used as I look away from the HUD, looking down my neighborhood and then back to the HUD. It's a very quick uh, uh, amount of time for my eyes to refocus uh, to this HUD. Uh, and then let's try this. Uh, AHARS zero, all right. So set it to zero. And then as I raise and lower this guy and roll, yeah, it's, it's updating nicely. So the drawbacks of using this with uh, one of these um, external systems not tied into your um, pedostatic system is that your altitude and speed are going to be GPS derived. So you're going to have ground speed and GPS altitude. Ground speed, okay, uh, can be close, all right, you can use it uh, for me. I would use ground speed kind of in more of a emergency type situation, my I've got some sort of pedostatic malfunction and I'm going to be using ground speed for approach, but then I'm gonna be listening to the winds and trying to figure out what airspeed I'm actually flying. GPS altitude, I'm not gonna be using it in any sort of IMC situation, uh, but it will give you something close if all you have is one of these external systems like this uh, dual system or the uh, Stratus puck. Um, I'm curious to see how how it is when I actually tie it into my Dynan system. So that was the full unboxing of the X Head 1000 made by Dual Avionics. In the next video, we're going to take the X HUD out to the RV8 and the Bonanza and install them, see if any modifications need to be made for placement purposes to make sure it feels comfortable while using so that your eyes can look out and scan for threats while getting the information necessary from the HUD. And then after that, we'll be taking it up into the air to see how they work in flight. The X HUD has the option of changing different colors for different lighting situations, so we'll get to be able to put that to the test. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, Plain Awesome Dad, and you can follow me on Instagram, at Plain Awesome Dad. All the equipment used today, I'm going to have a link down in the description of the video so that you can easily navigate over to those sites to check them out. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click like. Make sure to go over and watch the video on install, and we'll catch you next time. See ya!